Hello guys, it's been a whole week. Holy shit, I never go away for a week. I upload videos like every three days. It's been a whole week. <gasps> Is that a break? For me, it's kind of a break a week. Ooh, damn, that's a long time for me. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just waking up. 2 p.m. I have no reason to justify that. I was up all night on Skype, and I have a bunch of people I talk to on Skype, all my friends, but it seems like um, it narrows down to us four. Me, Logan, Isaiah, and Jared. My brothers, seems like we're the four that always stay up till the early fucking morn. We were up till like six. So yeah, just waking up. Anyways, we are dipping something that I haven't had since April 2011. That It was my third review I ever made. Ever made. That would be Skull Spearmint. Yep, haven't had this stuff since 2011. Since I made my first review of it. Been getting some requests to do it, plus I kind of forgot what it was like. So I wanted to re-review it. And, um... So I had to go to like seven or eight stores because they stopped carrying it around here. And I kept asking, why don't you sell it anymore? It just doesn't sell around here anymore. No one was buying it. Which I'm kind of not surprised. I just don't think a lot of people know about it. People want, you know, a mint dip that's just going to go with the basic mint. I've been arguing with my friend Hunter that, you know, he says it's a mint dip. I say it's not. Because mint dip, grizzly mint, Copenhagen mint, stoker's mint, skull mint, they're just your basic mint. They're just generic mint. This is spearmint. It's a type of mint, but it's in its own category. I don't just consider this a mint dip. It's different. Then again, I'm fucking cynical as shit. <laughs> so Nowhere had it, and my dad on his way home from work, there's always a convenience store he stops at. It's a family-owned place, and he's friends with the guy there. And I, I said, you know, can you on your way home, can you just check and see if they have Skull Spearman? And they didn't. The guy said the same thing. Uh, it just wasn't selling. They used to sell it. But my dad's friends with him, so he custom-ordered me a five-can roll of Skull Spearman. And now this guy is gonna let me just custom order stuff. He'll send me, he'll sell me the full log, and that's pretty awesome for me and you because it opens doors to new dip reviews. I think that's pretty fucking sweet. I finally found a place that will let me custom order because a lot of places around here don't, and a lot of places around here don't sell the, them by the five can rolls. And he gave me a good price too. Um, usually, and I know you're gonna be like, "Skull's four or five bucks here." Shut up. Um, Usually Skull is 10 or 11 bucks here. He gave this to me 7 bucks a 10. For here, that's really good. This may be somewhat of a longer review. I have a few things to blather on about, because I'm a fucking, you know. Oddly enough, not in person, but on here, I don't shut my fucking mouth. But they're my videos, so I can do what I damn well please. Anyways, let's take a look at the presentation. I love the feeling of holding a five can roll. Just so cool. I love the five can roll. It's like holding a big dick. Yeah, I love the way the tin looks. I do. To me, it just looks really cool. That light blue kind of thing it's got going on, especially the side label. I love the way it looks. And as you may or may not know, blue is my favorite color. Blue is my absolute favorite color, uh, especially lighter blue. So I dig the blue on this thing. I just think it looks really cool. I love the way this tin looks. So obviously metal lid, plastic bottom, and on the plastic bottom, we have Really good date, uh, sell by May 18th, 2014. I don't know why, I find that date kind of strange. It's really in advance for a skull. I don't know. Anyways, I haven't cracked a tin on camera in a while, so I decided to crack it on camera, because I haven't in a while. Let's take my little thumbnail right there. See, it's brown from dipping. Ah, poke the thumb in there. What a I don't, I don't understand why some people have trouble cracking tins. It's simple as that. It's, it's, and if I see you, if I see you fucking cracking, especially a skull tin with a knife, I'm gonna kick your ass. Get your shit together. Come on now. So it, um, I do smell a little hint of skull mint in there, which I don't like. But uh, it's not too bad. It definitely has a spearmint kind of thing. It's, it's way more mellow than regular skull mint though. It smells a little sweeter, more spearminty. Smell the tobacco in there a little bit. Overall, it's a pleasant scent. It's it's much more mild. Obviously, we're going to be using the blue fire mud jug today. Because, man, matches my shirt. Matches the tin. Blue. Matches my walls. 
It's like a blue fun house in here. By the way, if I ever... If you ever hear that? Because my ADD, I always shake my leg. And it hits against the uh, little knob on my desk. Knob. The little, you know. If you ever hear that in the background? See the camera shake? That's why. <laughs> so anyways, let's pack a lip. Mm-hmm. All right, pack it in the left today. The pinchability, it likes it pinches together pretty well. That's never really a problem with skull. It pinches together pretty good. Kind of like to fall apart a little bit throwing it in, though. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to blather on a lot, like I said. First thing, um, for the new subscribers that I've, I've gotten since, about every six months, I do a Q&A video. It's a good way to interact with you guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So in the comments, um, just ask me a bunch of questions for it, because I'm going to be doing it in the coming weeks. Of course, I'll accept some dip questions, but I really, I really like um, personal questions. Uh, feel free to ask me anything. Don't be afraid to ask me personal stuff. I like I like to answer everything. So it can be dip questions and non-dip questions. And yeah, I'm looking to answer about 30 questions, so let her rip. Anyways, the flavor really tastes like it smells. It has a little hint of skull mint in there, but it's not too bad. It just has a spearminty kind of thing. It's very mellow. You can taste the tobacco still. Um, it's not a bad flavor. It's pretty good. A lot of people say this is the toothpaste dip. I don't really think it tastes like toothpaste. It's a little bit too mellow to be toothpaste. Did I mention we're dipping Skull Spearmint? It's really hard to compare it because like I said, it's the only spearmint dip out there and it really doesn't taste quite like any of the mints out there. I guess if it's the closest to anything, it tastes kind of like Skull Mint, but it really doesn't, so it's not even close. But if I were to have to compare it, I guess that's the closest, but it still tastes way different and way better. Cut on it your typical Skull Cut. Just a kind of... Just a kind of typical long cut. Not extremely long cut like Stoker's, but not short cut or mid cut like, you know, Cope LC. Not short cut, mid cut. Packs together fine. Like I said, the pinchability's fine. Um, sometimes you have a little bit of trouble getting it in there once you get it settled. It packs together just fine. You don't really get any floaters or anything. It's absolutely fine. The texture, ah, uh, you know, it's like any other skull really. Skull's not really too rough in the lip. You don't get much of a burn. It's not too abrasive in there really. You can pack the stuff dip after dip after dip it shouldn't be too bad it isn't for me coming from a guy who dips a lot of wintergreens a lot of stoker's wintergreen if you dip grizzly wintergreen you're pretty much invin invincible to anything you're immune from that shit i can't take um i can't feel any nicotine i dip primarily copenhagen and stoker's two which are in the higher medium if you ask me they're not as strong as grizzly of course um it's not uh, skull you know skull is, is pretty weak it's not as weak as stuff like kayak but doesn't have a lot of nicotine i sir i sure as hell don't feel anything spit um and i'm kind of surprised by this obviously it has good date sell by may 18th 2014 and i don't remember it being like this and you wouldn't think so from a minty dip but this stuff's kind of naturally dry you don't get a lot of spit it's not it's a it doesn't have no spit um it's kind of in the middle but i wasn't expecting it to be a drier dip really it's not like you get none but you do get a good amount, but not as much as you would think. And it's kind of light brown. It's moderately light spit. I guess it's kind of like a skull cherry dry, where it's not dry dry, but it's kind of dry. And that moves into the last ability. This stuff doesn't last that long. I have a decent lip in. Ah, uh, you know it's a good lip when it goes over the teeth. That's my kind of rule. Goes over the teeth. It's a good dip. Yeah, it doesn't last too long, really. Probably 20 minutes. A lip like this. 20 minutes give or take a little bit so it doesn't last nothing but it doesn't last extremely long and aftertaste there's really not much of an aftertaste to even be mentioned here skull mint you take it out you can just taste the mint the shitty mint flavor in there for a while this you really don't taste much of an aftertaste you take it out and a little bit there but it kind of disintegrates good quickly it goes away quickly so aftertaste is really not a problem not that aftertaste really bother me these days and it's time for shout outs first of all i want to give the big shout out to my friend jared it's like a brother to me uh, he makes great videos. His username is Tennessee Dipper. Here's the link because it's not youtube.com slash Tennessee Dipper. I want to give a huge shout out to him. Please check him out. Um, like my friend Hunter, he said I'm the reason he started making reviews, and I think I, my fucked upness kind of rubbed off on him. He has a similar style, similar sense of humor. If you like me, you'll like him. Please check him out. And obviously, like I said, shout out to my friend Hunter, Rocky Top Dipper. Uh, shout out to the Bluegrass Dipper, my friend Jordan. 
uh, Dipsky for the Lipsky, my friend Isaiah. And for today's Rotators, we have Redneck Dipper 282, Ryan McCoy, Smokeless Backy Reviews, Devin14016, and American Dipper 15. Check them all out. And we are up to 8,976 subscribers. Amazing. Thank you all so much. I love you all. Keep dipping and spitting. And now it is time for the rating of Skull Mint of Thy Spear, Spearman, you know. It's definitely an interesting dip. It's a dip of its own kind, really. I don't think it's the toothpaste dip like people say it is. Uh, it tastes good. It lasts okay. It packs together fine. Decent amount of spit. It's pretty good. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's not bad by any means. Definitely try it out if they sell it, if they sell it near you. Overall, would I dip it again? They don't sell it around here. I wouldn't get another 5 can roll, but if they did sell it around here, I'd get a tin once in a while. I wouldn't dip it all the time, that's for sure. But would I dip it again nonetheless? I probably would. Anyways, that's been the review. Like I said, please leave questions for my Q&A. Uh, check all the shoutouts out. Feel free to like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash joeyledgedipper94. If you like this video, please thumb it on up. And yeah, that's been the review. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.